tides. All right, so we're here. I hope I don't have that stupid healer again. Doesn't look like it. Um. Yeah, throat of tides underwater. St underwater bad stuff is going down. Going down. And, uh, yeah, I'm about to level up. I'm probably gonna level up as soon as we kill these guys. This guy needs to turn pet growl off, like now. And we are going to do... Uh, the, the only thing is, there's no quest for this dungeon. Which I think there is, but you have to do a long-ass quest line, and I... do not feel like doing that. No thank you. Gotta watch out for that poison. Gotta watch out... Thankfully, we don't have a hard-hitting healer like we did last time. That's good. Level 81! Yeah, buddy! And we got a new buff, which is actually a very good survivability buff for me. Um, let me look for it first. There it is. Blessing of Might. I'm gonna put that on instead. Which increases my mastery, which if you don't know, my mastery uh, increase the damage reduction of your shield of righteousness by 60%, add 60% to your Bastion of Glory, and increase your chance to block melee attacks by 16%. So, it's a very good survivability thing. I'm definitely going to use it unless somebody asks for something else. Yeah. So, yeah. And you have to wait for the jellyfish elevator that's coming down right now. Jellyfish elevator! Yeah, buddy. And you can see my health can got increased by... ...dramatically, which happens every level in Cataclysm, basically. It's kind of crazy. A little bit... ...insane. Insane. Insane. Make sure you jump. Okay, good. Yeah, if you don't jump whenever the elevator comes back down and goes, like, through you, you'll actually get left behind again, and then, yeah, that ain't good. Not good. Not good at all. Bring it on, lazy Nasja. Run! Run straight to the end, people! Don't quit running! John, quit right. How much does my thing heal me now? I'm not really noticing a difference. Get anything good here? Plate. Wrist. I might have actually needed to take those. I'm not sure. Oh well. I don't think my heal is overpowered as it was now, though. Because I think it heals for the same, but now I have, like, double, well, almost double the health. And, yeah, I don't think it's really working, now. So the first bus is coming, or first bus? <laughs> first boss is coming up, which is another one of those lady hoes. One of those lady hoes. Should be doing more damage. It looks like I am. All right, where's that guy going? Where'd he go? I know he's gonna come back and be a bitch. 
He's gonna come back and be a hoe. Whoa, somebody died? What the hell? Die. Oh, she ran back. Screw it. Come on, people. Really, dude? You're gonna be right back right now? We're about to hit the first boss. You fucking. Why? Why? Why do I even bother? Why do I bother? Are we ready? Let's do this. I ain't waiting for that other hoe. Oh, this was an interrupter, I think. Whoops. Oh, well. Who cares? There. I interrupted it that Oh, we left. Somebody left. Wall. Oh, well, we don't need him. We don't need him. Yes, we'll, uh... We'll re he f I don't know how she died. We are doing a full Q, even though it doesn't. It's not helping us at all. I don't care. I don't care. I'm showing off the whole dungeon, damn it. I have the control. I am the tank here. Yeah, so this boss is pretty straightforward. Um, basically, you just DPS her down. Yeah, if you're the tank, I guess if you're anybody, you can interrupt her. Uh, and then every once in a while, she'll cast this like water spout that pretty much you can't hit her at all, and you have to kill the ads. That's about it. It's pretty pretty straightforward. And there you go. Pretty freaking awesome. The second boss is like right here, but we're gonna have a little cutscene. Oh my god, it's some giant squid thing with a giant brains sucking the life out of something. Oh yeah, we shocked him. Yeah, so now his tentacles are gone, so now you can go kill either one of the bosses. Which if you go that way, that's the last boss, you can just skip the optional boss, but we're going for the optional boss, baby. Yeah, buddy. He's pissed. He's pissed. He's pissed. He... He, he's pissed. Oh yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Fool. And ignore. Instantly killed. Damn. I got instantly killed. Holy hell. 
Okay, that did a lot more damage. See, this is why you can't freaking, like, solo some of this crap, man. I'm telling you. Like, you can solo it maybe if you're 85, good gear, but... Well, normal, you could solo, like, I'm 83, but I'm just saying, like... Yeah. I'm not high enough level right now. There's a dramatic increase in difficulty. Well, so basically this boss puts down random, like, these bubbles here that will freaking hurt you like a mofo, and if you stand on them, they'll do damage. And then they, well, on heroic mode, they grow, but it doesn't look like they grow here. Yeah, on heroic mode, they grow bigger and bigger until they fill, like, the whole room, and you're pretty much going to get stuck, so you have to kill him fast. He's pretty straightforward as well. this guy. Buff, buff, buffing up. Mastery is more. Taking the teleporter all the way back to the beginning through this crap. Yeah, I wasn't even freaking paying attention. Wasn't paying attention for the dark fissure. Can I do this daily quest? They, they, they'd add archaeology daily quests in these dungeons, and I don't know if I can do it or not. Oh, I can. Coating your weapons and armor in the water confuses bonus damage against Die again? Incesticide has dead. Has died. See the monk? Death Knight. Now, remember to keep all your silks that you get. We're gonna need a, I think we need it's like 70 something. I don't know what this here we go. I got this. I don't need no healer. I'll save my heals for somebody who needs it. I will be the healer and tank. The other ones I think are. Oh wait, no. Oh, we don't have high enough item level to do those. Never mind. Forgot about you have to have item level in this expansion to do things. But you had to do that in Rise of the Lich King. But really, uh... you only had to do it for like Forge of Souls and Trial of the Crusader or Trial of the Champion.
for everybody to enter. One, two, three, and four. Because you will get locked out. And I don't want nobody to get locked out. Yeah, don't want nobody to get locked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interrupt. Bam! Interrupt it. interrupt him. It's on cooldown. Alright, so for this boss, it's actually one of the friends if you play the Vash Jir quest line, he's actually there. And at the end of it he gets like taken. Um, basically you're getting this thing is like a mind controlling this little squid and it's gonna take control of somebody at random and you just gotta kill him off whenever whoever he takes. So. Pretty easy. Another straightforward boss. But you, but you do gotta, you do gotta avoid some of his earth from here. Beware. Right? So. I am weary. Ooh, a new finger. You must carry on without me. I don't even freaking care. I shall take my leave once my strength has returned. I didn't win it. But um, but um, wow! My healer side does not get the ring. What a abyssal clam. Blood shrimp. Seems nasty. So what did I get? Coating your weapons and armor in the waters of Loon confers a 10% bonus damage against the Naga. Only active while you remain in the Throne of Tides. So yeah, if you get Archaeology, you get like bonus damage crap. Hell yeah. That's how I roll, baby. So with these, you want to pull them all the way to the end because they're just going to... There's like an infinite spawn of water. These pink little tainted elementals. I don't know what the hell this freaking guy is doing. Is he AFK again? Oh, he's getting like... I have some disease on me. It's called curing, people. You have it, healer. You have a cure. So this fight is actually really awesome. This is Neptulon, the god of the sea, just like Ragnaros is the god of the fire. This guy's the god of the sea. Well, I guess he's not the god. Well, is it god? Because there's, there's the old gods and then there's a real... I don't know. It's very confusing. And basically, you got to stop things from killing Neptulon. while he tries to cleanse his waters because that giant octopus is making everything bad, man. It's making it all bad. I don't think I like these numbers. It's blocking my screen too much. Heroic mode was actually really hard back in the day. This part, goddamn. Now it's easy. But, woo! Back whenever this first came out, heroics were hard. Now, I liked it to a point mainly because I was the healer, and the healer never gets blamed for. Well, sometimes. Not normally. Phase 2, in 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Is this the part where he gets us, is this the part where he gets us big? No, this isn't that part, never mind. This is the part where you have to go around and kill all these faceless manipulators. Um, okay, you guys just skipped over an entire... Whatever. You 
guy skipped over an entire manipulator, but that's fine. Thank you, monk. You see, I got somebody to help me here. Now this is the cool part. He's basically gonna grow you huge, and your freaking camera's gonna freak out, and you have to attack Azumat. Thanks, Neptulon, for making me gigantic. But you take more and more damage the longer it lasts, so you have to kill him fast. Usually about this phase, your healer's about out of mana, and so you have to burn him down fast. But we're on normal mode, so we don't have to worry about that. We have to wait to shrink. There we go. The water has been cleansed. Two-handed axe. What does that look like? Oh, that looks cool. I'm taking that. Do I need that necklace? Yes. I really do like that two-hand. I like that. Somewhere. Beyond the sea. Well, I didn't win it anyways. Wow. Who won that? Okay, I didn't win crap. I'm out of here. There you go. That's Throne of Tines. I really like the last fight. That's about it in there. Really, it's kind of annoying after that. Uh, but yeah, now we're going to go truly back to quest. Actually, no, we have enough item level to do these now. <gasps> Yikes. Okay, we ain't done with dungeons yet, people. <laughs> I'm sorry.